Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-22 Raptor. We're once again fighting Longshot, and this time he has the NGAD. And for those of you who don't know what NGAD stands for, it's Next Generation Air Dominance. It is the 6th gen fighter, supposedly uh, far ahead of the F-22. I don't think they've actually released any real pictures of what it'll look like, but people have made some guesses and some renditions. Uh, we just merged with that thing and it looks like the uh, fighter from Stealth. I don't know how many of you have seen that movie, that drone thing that kills everybody. <laughs> Luckily that Fox 2 he fired didn't track. Um, and I am somewhat offensive against him, maybe not actually. Uh, he's got some pretty good speed here. Once again, that's flown by Longshot. Definitely check out his channel, I'll have links to him below. And I'm actually in a raid fight. I'm in a raid fight with an NGAD. <laughs> It's uh, definitely not where I think you want to be, I don't think. I might be an F-22, but I'm actually an underdog in this fight. Whoa! Engine fire. I <laughs> oh my god! I looked away for a second and his nose came around. But again, that makes sense. He doesn't actually need to outrate me. He just needs to pull the nose around, fire his high off boreside Fox 2. That's the modern dogfight for you these days. There's really no need to, I guess, outrate your bandit. Big thank you to everybody who has uh, supported the channel so far. We've uh, come further than I've ever thought possible. So thank you all of you for watching and subscribing to the channel. Um, when it comes to dogfighting, it seems like no matter how good you are, if you go to the dogfight, there, there's a chance you're going to get killed. You know what I mean? Even the F-22. Um, even the smallest mistake will, you know, possibly give the other guy an advantage here. Now, he, Longshot puts himself in the sun there and fires a Fox 2 that goes right over my head. Uh, so we're... Oh, you see, he actually fired the gun there. You see the gas come out of the front of his aircraft. Uh, no tracers, and that's actually more realistic. And I'm going to see if I can point the nose at him here, if I can just get Tone Fox 2. And his Fox 2 went right by me. Mine missed, because I think I, you know, I shot it into the sun, but I was desperate, so... Um, so I actually still have a Fox 2 left, and he doesn't. He has no more Fox 2s. And I don't know if he knows that I have one. But it doesn't matter because currently I'm in a flat scissor and he's winning. I'm working on getting that thing to go out in front, but it's very hard. The AOA that that thing has is really good. Let's see if we can take him two circle. Because if he tries to rate fight me, I can do what he did to me last round and just pull him in. Oh boy, look at this. Oh. He tried to gun me. That thing is freaky looking. It looks like a Sukhoi 47 with the forward swept wings. Uh, look at that. I'm just trying. I think he knows I have another Fox too because he's trying to jam the Wes. But right here he's going in the vertical and I think I might be able to... Like look how fast that thing comes around. It looks like he has enough separation that I can get a Fox 2 off. But before even the F-22 can point its nose... That thing is, you know, already jamming the was again. And he just shot at me. Again. There's the separation we're looking for. He might have finally made the mistake I was looking for. Fox 2. That thing's tracking. Splash 1 NGAD. <laughs> Alright, finally. I think that thing's actually the aircraft from Ace Combat. So, it's called the Morgan or something like that. But it is, it's a 6th gen aircraft. It could very well be what the NGAD ends up looking like.
Imagine when this thing comes out in real life and whatever it looks like, whatever its capabilities are, that it'll make the F-22 look like a little kid, you know? Imagine that. It makes the F-22 feel like what the F-15 is right now to the F-22. The F-22 kills like eight of them, no problem. You know, the only limiting factor is how many missiles it carries. Imagine something that can do that to the F-22. It's incredible. You know? Like, seventh gen has to be like spaceships, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we can get more advanced. Alright, we're gonna actually roll this and see if I can get close to him because I need him to also not shoot Fox 2s at me. And, oh! Left engine fire. Whoa! Right engine. Dude, his Fox 2 had to do the tightest turn to hit me like that. Wow. I thought I was still in the fight. <laughs> wow. The way that thing moves, the way the Fox 2s come off of it, it's definitely strange. I think, uh, you know, the real life version might be even more weird than this thing, but, you know, in terms of seeing how it moves and especially even the AIM-9X seems to perform differently when coming off this thing. I think his, uh, his 9X is more dangerous than mine. So he just Syrian lead turned me, Fox 2 there and it missed. He knew he screwed that up, that's why he dumped those flares, and good thing for him that he did. Because uh, I almost had him there. And let's see where he goes from here, but I'm actually offensive now in the F-22. Underdog, but offensive. And let's see what we can possibly do here. I still have one Fox 2 left and I really would like to not waste it. I'm gonna do my best to not screw that up. Um, he's in the sun and he comes out like different way than I expected him to come out like that thing just doesn't move like an aircraft It feels like he fired a Fox 2 there, which didn't track He's got the flares out I'm trying to Trying to get him in the in the hut here Take this Fox 2 shot Oh, that was another Fox 2 that went right by and where'd he go? Did you see how fast he went by? <laughs> wow, that was crazy. All right, I, I might have over ruddered it a little bit here, but I might still be okay as he comes back around. He is taking very close gunshots at me. I'm trying to constantly keep him one circle. Except right here, hold on, right here, Fox 2. Oh, yes, 9X. Dude, that was all 9x. Did all the heavy lifting there. If that didn't hit him, I think I would have been in really big trouble. Is he dead? The thing is definitely dead, right? It's leaking all kinds of everything. Whatever futuristic plasma they put in that thing. <laughs> I think the 6th gen aircraft, for in real life of course, will still have pilots, but you know, at what point do you think we move away from pilots where they actually just become the limiting factor? I think we got to make massive improvements with artificial intelligence, but in terms of like aircraft maneuvering and stuff like that, I think we're already past that. The human body kind of is the limb fact when it comes to how the aircraft maneuver. The only thing that the human still offers is the brain. So if they solve that somehow, then there's never going to be another f a need for a pilot, or at least a pilot on the ground. He's behind me now. How did you get that? How how did that 9x hit me? How? Right engine fire. Dude, what is Hydraulic that thing doing? <laughs> oh my god.
There was a video a little while ago where I was talking about how the F-22 and the Sukhoi 57, they're hard to fight because they don't move like you expect them to do, like other aircraft. Um, you know, you look over here, you expect them to be there, but they're not there because they just fly differently compared to other aircraft. That's kind of what that thing is doing to me right now in the F-22. He's moving in ways that I don't expect him to. It's hard to keep track of him. It's hard to predict his movement. And the performance of the missiles was very strange. Like he was in like a flat scissor situation with me, not even nose on, like nose 90 degrees off. And his 9X got me, which is what the 9X does, but it's just, you don't see that very often. Uh, 9X there that missed. Uh, all right, I think I can get tone here maybe. Give me tone. Fox 2, come on, oh my God. Feels like an eternity before those missiles come off. Fox 2. And he pulls it into the sun. Wow. I think the problem is that my bay doors have to open, the sidewinder has to come out, and then it has to ignite and go. So that's like a whole process. And it feels like a second. It's only a second, but it feels like it's three or four, you know? Um, whereas his 9X just falls off the rail and turns on. And that's a much quicker process than housing them internally in the F-22. Look at that thing coming around. Look at that thing's nose, man. He, does he still have a missile? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Engine fire. <sighs> right oh, spicy ejection. 